Hey guys, it's me, Dartman here, and I'm going to be showing you guys what a T-flip flop is, how you can build it, and some of its applications in actual redstone builds. So first of all, let's go over the difference between a button, which gives a short pulse, and a lever, which gives a pulse all the way until you use the lever again. Uh, that's, that is the entirety of the differences between buttons and levers. Uh, levers, you can, or buttons, sorry, you can make buttons act like levers by building a T-flip-flop, just like this one. As you can see, this lamp is turned on, and it will stay on until we hit this button again. Like so. As you can see, the lamp is now off because this button is acting like a lever because of this contraption that I built called a T-flip-flop. This is not my design, but it is the one that I most frequently use because it works very, very well. Uh, I don't actually know who designed it. It's a very popular one that a lot of people use. So now let's go over how to build it. So first off, you're going to want to place a dropper facing a direction. Uh, then you're going to want to have a, a, a dropper facing upwards and a dropper facing towards this one, that, this first one you placed. Then you're going to want to place a hopper that goes into that first dropper that you placed. Then you'll place a comparator out the back of it. And if you want to extend the signal, you'll have to use a repeater so it, it keeps going, just like this. And uh, of course, we'll use a redstone lamp to display whether or not it's working. Then you'll want to place a button right here, and then you will have to drop one item into the hopper. Whatever, it doesn't matter what item, just an item. As you can see, we dropped a button in, and now it is going to be in this dropper at the bottom. And if we hit this button, as you can see, it has turned off the lamp. And as you can see, the actual button is now in the item is in this dropper. If we hit the button again, it'll actually send it into this dropper, and then this one will still be powered, and it will then send it into the hopper, which will then put it back in here, powering this redstone again because it's off. We hit the button, and it turns back on. Hit the button again, and it turns back off. As you can see, this is a functioning C flip flop. And if you don't, if you need uh, space vertically if you need to save the space. You can also build this uh, horizontally. You can make it flat. So you just place your three uh, your three uh, droppers just like this and then put a hopper in just right there. You'll have the comparator coming out of the first always the first dropper, first dropper that you place. And again we can just do the same thing and drop uh, an item in and put the button on this one right here it's always the middle one if that makes sense so there's one here one here and then this is the middle one so that's where the button goes and on this one there's one here one here and then this one's the middle one so that's where the button goes we hit the button as you can see the lamp turns off hit it again and it turns back on and that will always work at least unless they make a major change to redstone in minecraft bedrock which frankly i do not see Coming. So now that you have an uh, understanding of how to build some of these T-flip flops and exactly what they do, now we can go talk about how to actually use them in redstone contraptions. One of the biggest uses, in my opinion, for a T-flip flop is uh, in piston doors. Because if you use a lever here, obviously you see, you know, I, I can't go through. Obviously I can use the lever again and open it and I can go through the door. If I pull this lever again, I can't go through. But if this lever is pulled and I'm outside, I can't pull this lever to get in, so that's a bit of a problem. Whereas if you have two buttons, just like this, hooked up to the same T flip flop like this, as you can see, I can use the button here, you know, and it closes, And but then I, of course I can use the button on this side to open it, and similarly I can use this button to close it, and this button to open it. Both bu buttons can open and close the same door, uh, because that's that's the point of a t-flip-flop is uh you can obviously make buttons work like levers but beyond that you can make two different buttons act as the same lever so that is another huge use of them and that is probably the biggest one most often used in redstone contraptions is so that you can activate the same thing in the exact same way from multiple different locations so yeah that's that's a big big thing I like to use them in piston doors for that very reason. And of course, it can be bigger piston doors as well. You don't have to use a 2x1 piston door. For example, let's go build a 2x2 piston door. 
So right here we have an example of a 2x2 two two piston door activated by a T-flip bot. So we can hit this button and obviously we open up the 2 and we hit this button and it will close behind us. Of course we can hit this one to open it, hit it to close it, hit it to open it, hit this one to close it, hit this one to open it again, it doesn't really matter. Both buttons can open or close it. It's just a simple one of those uh, flat T-flip flops I showed you earlier, uh, right, right over there. And uh, it's hooked up. It's it's just a unnecessarily long uh, redstone lines. I didn't bother compacting it or anything. I just this is just a showing how it works. That's so okay. This button obviously has a redstone come along here. It activates uh, this repeater, which is going into that middle dropper to activate the T flip flop. And then this button just activates that exact same redstone line. So they can both activate that same T flip flop, which will then. Uh, activate the redstone door. So that's how you can do a 2x2 two two piston door with it. It's all the exact same thing. If you could activate it with a lever, you can activate it with a T flip flop. And that is really the point of this video. So there's lots of different uses for this, but they all boil down to using a button as a lever or multiple buttons as the same lever. And that is the entire point of a T flip flop. So hopefully you guys learned something in this video. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.